Gabby, so glad you guys are here today. We are talking about the image of God. And did you know that like this mirror that I have, we can look back and we see our image. If we smile, our image smiles back at us, right? And the Bible says in Genesis chapter one, the very beginning of the Bible, verse 26 it says let us make man in our image in our likeness what does that mean that we're made in the image of god because as people we all look different right we have different color skin we have different color hair we have different color eyes some of us are tall some of us are short and we have different characteristics but that's what the bible is talking about we all might look different from each other, but there are ways that we actually reflect God all of the time because God thinks and we know how to think and God speaks and we can speak. God is the master creator. And have you guys ever created anything? Isn't it fun? God is an artist. The most important way that we reflect God is that we love and God loves too. We can love God, we can love each other, and God is the God of relationship. There is the God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, and they are in relationship with one another all of the time they're blessing and loving each other and we are created to do that as well we were made in the image of god that's what the bible says we were made to look like god he made us to enjoy him god and he made us to enjoy each other in our friendships and in our family let's try and look like god this week Let's pray. God, thank you that your word says that we were made in your image. We are made in your image. So God, help us to think like you, to speak like you, to love like you this week. In Jesus' name, amen. built on nothing less than Jesus blood and righteousness I dare not trust the sweetest phrase but only trust in Jesus name Christ alone Savior's love through the storm. He is Lord, Lord of all. When darkness seems to hide His face, I rest, I rest on His unchanging
shall come with trumpet sounds. Oh, may I then in Him be found, dressed in His righteousness alone, faultless stand before the throne. Are you guys ready for our raffle? I am. Let's see who we're going to visit this week. Let's shout, shake it up, shake it up. And maybe you're going to be picked this week. Let's see. Our first winner of this week's raffle is, let's see, Boston Elm. Yay! Yay, Boston. We're going to come see you and your family tomorrow. Woohoo! Okay, we got two more. Shake it up. Shake it up. Let's see who our next raffle winner is. And we have Maggie H. Yay, Maggie. So excited to see you. Okay, last one, last one. If you want to be our winner this week, shout, shake it up, shake it up. Good job. Okay, let's see. Last winner is, last one is Peter H. Good job, Peter. Oh, there we go. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Keep tagging us. Keep doing our daily challenges. And we will see you later. Bye. Rachel, guess what? What? Kids Choir is back. Oh my gosh, so is Mid City. <gasps> and we have some really exciting virtual projects coming up. And we'd love to have you be a part of it. Yeah, so if you like to sing, all you have to do is comment below or send us a message and we will reach out to you. Yeah. Cool. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Receive this blessing from number six. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you his peace. Amen. Bye, everyone. We'll see you next week.